Hi everybody, my name is Shanga. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important secret in native speakers English. Especially, uh, today I'm going to differentiate, I'm going to talk about the main difference, the major difference, the most important difference between British English and American English. Right? We call American English erotic sound or a rhotic English, a rhotic accent. What is rhotic? Okay, let me give you some examples, first of all. You may, you may have heard these words spoken by different nations whose first language is English, in different ways. That's what we are going to identify what this difference is. When you're listening to an American person, mainly when you watch a movie, most of the movies are from Hollywood, right? I'm talking about most English movies are from Hollywood. Hollywood means American English. So majority of those movies have American sounds. So once you are okay in British English, if you can't understand what American people say, you will be in trouble. So it's better for you guys to understand, learn, go through both of those. Now, not actually both. When you go through those two main categories, you have the access to other accents as well. Okay? So just have a look at this. First, girl, world, car, ear. But British people, first, girl, world, car, ear. What's the difference? American people pronounces our sound anywhere in the world. That's why that's called rhotic sounds or rhotic English or rhotic accent. Whereas British accent is called non-rhotic. Shall I show you? Here you go. I hope you can see the dictionary. Yeah. So let's take the word that you are looking for, rhotic. Rhotic. There's a different of course. Rhotic sound. Rhotic. 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 This is how British people pronounce this one, and this is how Americans. Rhotic. 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 Don't worry about that. I'll, I'll be teaching all those differences. I'll be teaching you how to use an English dictionary as well. So read this definition of an accent. Pronouncing the R after a while in words like car, early, etc. General American accent and Scottish accents are brotic. You don't want to worry about all this. You just remember Americans pronounce R anywhere in the world. Simply. I'll give you the same examples used in the dictionary to see if your teacher is correct. Let's type the word. First. So the first one, B-R-E, the dictionary shows British English. As you can see, I hope you can see. All right. So the first one, wait a minute, I highlight that one and show you what I'm talking about. This one, B-R-E. That's the show that is Brie, Brie English, British English. Okay. And this one is A M E, American English. So, what is this N sound? N is to show that is North American English. Because they say in America they have a variety of accents out of them. What is accepted? as the general accent, main accent, 
standard accent is North American accent. That's why they call it N-A-M-E, North American English. North American English. Okay, then here, first. First, first. British, no R sound. First. And this, first. First, 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 first. Okay, now that's right, your mind. All right, I can remember when watching movies, this R sound is very familiar to me. That's pretty prominent, right? Let's see, girl. Girl. British girl. 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 Americans. Girl. 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 World. 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 Third. 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 So anything like this. When you go through the speaking also, you can hear our sound anywhere inside the sentence. Let me show you some examples. Let's any example when you get some let's take world all right this one which is the largest city in the world largest which is the largest which is the largest city in the world Campaigning for world peace for campaigning for world peace campaigning for world peace. R is prominent. R can be heard anywhere inside the sentence. Okay, then that's enough for the day. I see you in another most one of the most valuable lessons to teach you again. All right. Bye bye.